Good morning. I've got a lot of frost out here today. All this white you see on the on the weeds over here was gone yesterday. It's all melted off the ice and the snow. But boy, we got the frost, the heavy frost today. The sunshine looks good. We got looks like most mostly clear skies up there. 28 degrees here, our, our temperature Fahrenheit. <laughs> it's gonna be another great day. We had four grand children yesterday and uh, <laughs> it was it was a it was a good day man it was loud and at times overpowering <laughs> yeah just saying there's something else grandkids are to have the energy them youngins have, wouldn't that be something? Their imagination, they they, they can play things and, and uh, their imagination is just, is just all of that. We don't want to, <laughs> we wouldn't want to lose uh, imagination. We want to hang on to that. <clears throat> Go over here and look. I'm going over this way. See how this thing is looking today. I'm not sure where I'm headed. We just, you know, I don't have a plan when I walk out. I know God's got this day going for me. And I'm here to enjoy it. Here to enjoy it. I hear a red bird. This little branch is running pretty good. I don't think she's going to jump it. I think she'll stay put. But she surprised me before. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot on my mind. I've got so much the more of Paul's writings that I write out and study, the more I see that Paul's evangel is not just about justification, our salvation, our freedom in Christ. There's much, there's a deeper thing in there that we need to search um, so I'm in the process of getting things put together and it's a process I'm hoping to have that done I don't want to put a timeline on it but I think it's important that I get this all out uh, every book Every letter that Paul wrote, he included a lot in there about our actions. The old humanity, our actions. The old humanity. Um, and becoming a new and becoming a new creation. So I think that's important. It's in every letter. Why would he keep pounding that if it wasn't important why would it keep bringing it up if it wasn't important I know we're justified I know we're a big bird flying out I don't know if you've seen it I probably didn't get the, the angle right on the camera um, you know I know we have freedom in Christ I know God directs our steps. So, 
you know, I back everything up with scripture. I, I'm not going to inject any of my personal thoughts in it as far as truth because we go by scripture. And if it's not in God's word, I'm not going to spout it out. I'm not going to put my... I'm not going to try to say something that Scripture's not saying, all right? We don't do that. None of us need to do that. It's, what can we add to Scripture? So, you know, last time I was over here, this little spring was really, this little spring was really getting it. Still doing a pretty good job, isn't it? Still doing pretty good. But anyway, before I get long, I want to get into the into the reading today. It's it's good to, to dwell on those things and, and think about it. Today we've got Ephesians 5, verse 15, and the references that's tied to it, all right? And this is out of Paul's writing. I stick with Paul's writing uh, because he's our apostle, and, and he he's telling us what the risen Christ revealed to him in all of his letters. That's what he does. That's his, that's his job. So I want to, I want to go through this stuff important be observing accurately then brethren how you are walking not as wise not as unwise but as wise brethren do not become little children in disposition but in evil be minors Yet in disposition become mature. For whoever are of works of law are under a curse. For it is written, A curse is everyone who is not remaining in all things written in the scroll of the law to do them. This only I want to learn from you. Did you get the Spirit by works of law or by hearing of faith so foolish are you undertaking in spirit are you now being completed in flesh so much did you suffer faintly since surely it also is faintly moreover you also individually each be beloved his own wife thus as himself yet that the wife may be fearing the husband. Only be citizens walking worthily of the evangel of Christ, that whether coming and making your acquaintance or being absent, I should be hearing of your concerns, that you are standing firm in one spirit. So, com competing together in the faith of the evangel. Therefore, we also, from the day on which we hear, do not cease praying for you and requesting that you may be filled full with the realization of His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. You to walk worthily of the Lord for all pleasing, bearing fruit in every good work and growing in the realization of God, being endued with all power in accordance with the might of his glory for all endurance and patience with joy in wisdom be walking toward those outside reclaiming the error your word being always with grace seasoned with salt perceiving how you must answer each one now we are asking you, brethren, to perceive those who are toiling among you and presiding over you in the Lord 
and admonishing you, and to deem them exceedingly distinguished in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. Now we are entreating you, brethren, admonish the disorderly, comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the infirm, be patient towards all. See that no one may be rendering evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue that which is good for one another as well as for all. Be rejoicing always. Be praying unintermittently. In everything be giving thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Quench not the Spirit, scorn not the prophecies, Yet be testing all, retaining the ideal, from everything wicked to the perception, abstain. Now, devoutness with contentment is capital, for nothing do we carry into the world, and it is evident that neither can we carry anything out. Now, having substance and shelter with these, we shall be sufficed. Now those intending to be rich are falling into a trap and the many foolish and harmful desires which are swamping men in extermination and destruction. And that's the references to Ephesians 5, verse 15. Wow. I can't add anything to that. I sure can. I enjoy Paul's writing. There's... <laughs> There's so much in there. So much in there. But, anyway, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful day. I hear a little airplane. I just looking up there in the airplane, flying over and seeing all this frost we got down here. I bet it looks pretty neat. I think I'm going to go around here, back in here over the pond bank, and walk around that. And see what's down on the other side of the pond. I've been out there in a while. It goes down there to the creek bed. Oh, I was going to bring you a, I found a rock yesterday. It's really awesome looking. I was going to show that. But we'll be getting it again. Let's go see what God's got. You want to? what he's got for us today and uh, I'll talk to you all tomorrow have a fantastic day I'll see you then